Today, I will present our paper entitled LDL Precoded FTN Signaling with Power Location in the Block Fading Channel, which has been accepted to the Globecom 21. I am the presenter, Yuan Li. I'm from National Key Laboratory on Communications, University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. This is this is just a quick uh, quick outline of my presentation. First, I will give an uh, introduction of the motivation of our research. Then I will introduce our research, including the system model, uh, maximum average information rate of the proposed uh, um, scheme and uh, the outage capacity and the simulation results. At last, I will give a summary of this presentation. Well, let's begin with the motivation part. Mm. Spectral efficiency, efficiency mm, is, is a crucial quarter in, in communication systems. It can be represented by R over B, where R is the information rate in B, B, bits per second, and B is uh, bandwidth in hertz. Improve the SE is like to use a bus to replace the uh, private car to uh, enhance the traffic of the road without increasing lanes. Uh, this is just like using higher order modulations in communication systems. Another way to improve SE is faster than, than crystal signaling. Let's first look at the spectrum of the, the RC filter, which is widely used in, in single carrier communication systems. Mm, as we can see, alpha, alpha equals to zero is, uh, is not used in, in practice. For the crystal signaling, uh, the signal bandwidth is always is always W. So there is still some extra bandwidth uh, can be fully utilized. And that, and that is what uh, FTN, that, and that is what, what FTN do. So what is uh, FTN signaling? The transmitted, the transmitted signal of FTN signaling can be represented as this form, where Xn is the, is the symbol, and phi t is the shaped filter. T is the orthogonal symbol interval of the shaped pulse, and tau in 0 to 1 is the acceleration factor. A simple the exam of FTN with sync pulses is shown below. The light lines uh, with different colors represent the pulses of different symbols at different time. The heavy line um, represent the transmit signal. For the Nyquist signaling, other symbols won't interfere uh, the current sim symbol, which, which is inter-symbol interference free. In, in, in the contrast, with an acceleration factor, the symbols are transmitted in a shortened, in a shortened interval. Current symbol is interfered by other symbols. If the current ISI is well handled, then FTN, then FTN signaling can be a promising technology to improve the spectral efficiency of uh, communication systems. So how to deal with the in, uh, incurred ISI by FCN signaling. Some studies focus on the pro uh, process as, as a receiver. However, the computational complex complexity of these methods incre increases, increases in expo exponentially as the ISI taps. Uh, other studies use the pre-coding methods as the transmitter side to console the ISI jointly with the receiver. These methods are proved to have lower complexity than conventional methods. Uh, some linear pre-coded FTN depends on the decomposition of the ISI matrix and the typical, typical schemes are sing singular value decomposition, 
uh, square root decomposition and uh, Cholesky decomposition based methods. The complexity of typical schemes used in pre-coded FTN is shown in the table. Uh, as we can see, uh, SVD uh, has the most complexity, but it is uh, applicable for any feasible tau. Other two schemes uh, have low uh, complexity, but a limited application range of tau. Mm, it's valuable to find a scheme that has low complexity and large application range of tau at the same, at, at the same time. Mm, and uh, LDL decomposition is, is exactly what we need. So what is uh, LDL decomposition? For given, for given positive definite matrix G, it can be decomposed as G equals to LDLT, where T is a transpose of a matrix. And L here is a lower triangular matrix and D is a diagonal matrix. In contrast, if D, if D, is, if D is indefinite, um, this equation always holds, where M is a permutation matrix and B is a block diagonal matrix with one by one and two by two blocks on its diagonal. For the sake of unity, we still use G equals to LDLT to represent uh, these two forms. Mm, now let's turn to the system model. An L, mm, we consider an LDL pre-coded FTN um, communication system with power location and uh, uh, block fading channel. At the, the transmitter side, pre-coded pre symbol ve vector uh, upsampled by um, tau t over t, uh, t subscri subscribe s times. Then after the process of the RC filter, uh, the transmitter signals is passing through the block fading channel. At the receiver side, after the matter filter and the tau t sampling, the receiver signal R is obtained. After the linear decoding, uh, we obtain the, the estimate of the symbol vector. And the power location and linear precoding matrix gamma equals to the, uh, the product of the, unit, the, the, the inverse of LT and, uh, uh, and P, where uh, L is obtained by the LDL decomposition of G and P is a, a power location matrix, which is a diagonal matrix too. The receiver signal um, is uh, is R, and um, the noise the noise vector is actually a no colored noise, and its uh, uh, covariance matrix is uh, N0G. The linear decoding matrix phi. Um, equals to uh, the transpose of gamma. Uh, finally, the estimate of the symbol vector is uh, um, HPDP S uh, plus uh, it uh, subscribe U, where uh, in the covariance, uh, covariance uh, matrix of uh, it U is uh, N in PDP. So uh, what's the, uh, uh, what's the optimum value of, uh, of, of P? Mm. In the next part, uh, we, in the next part, we obtain the optimal power allocation by maximizing the average information rate. Um, before the pro problem formulation, it's necessary to discuss uh, the post positive definition of G. Uh, as block lengths n to infinity, G is the positive definite for tau in uh, in one over one plus alpha to one. Uh, G is indefinite. G may be indefinite for tau in zero to one over one plus alpha. 
as mentioned before, g equals to L dLt, where L is uh, maybe a permitted lower triangular matrix and D is a block diagonal matrix with one by one and two by two blocks on its diagonal. Mm. Uh, the one by one and two by two diagonal blocks can be represented by decay and uh, uh, two by two matrix respectively. And uh, the indices K is in the set of A and L in, is in the set of B. And it's ob 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 obvious that the cardin cardinality of A and uh, double cardinate of B equals to N. Uh, the problem formulation here, um, uh, our objective is to maximize the average information rate. The variables are uh, the located power for each symbol. The constraint is the block energy N. And the, the instantaneous mutual information uh, of S and uh, S hat can be rep can be represented as two parts. The transmitted block block energy uh, can can be uh, represented as the summation of uh, the product of di and pi. Uh, then we have the uh, Lagrange fun function where uh, beta is uh, is a Lagrange multiplier. To solve the problem, we consider two cases. When tau is great, when tau greater or equals than uh, one over one plus alpha and less than one, uh, which corresponds to the an LDL pre-coded FTN with the power locate with the ideal power, power location. We call it uh, LDL PA FTN. Then uh, the uh, the matrix D is diagonal. Then uh, and the B is empty. Solving the Lagrange function, uh, we we can uh, obtain PN equals to one over DN. Mm, then. Um, let gamma, let gamma be the instantaneous sig sig signal to noise ratio and the substi substitute substitute uh, pn uh, into into the uh, into the uh, instantaneous uh, inform, uh, mutual information we uh, we then use the uh, jensen inequality and uh, obtain the the maximum average information rate In, in other, uh, recall the Lagrange function. When tau in uh, zero to uh, one over one plus alpha, there may exist some two by two blocks in D, uh, which makes it troublesome to solve the Lagrange function. Since uh, the elements in, um, uh, in the two by two blocks are a, sim a simple part asymptotically zero. We propose to ignore the second term and use, use a threshold to maintain some active symbols for the transmission. So uh, in the same manner, we eventually have PK equal to N over N active decay. And N subscribe A is the number of active symbols. And then we turn to the outage capacity. With the PDF of gamma, given the required minimum information rate are minimized, we uh, minimum we we have we have we can obtain the outage probability and the corresponding outage capacity as follows. Mm, and <clears throat> And for the LDL um, truncated power location, um, it's uh, just the same way. 
Well then, uh, here comes the simulation results part. Um, here is our um, simula. Uh, this is the um, um, parameters we used in our simulation. Especially, two kinds of uh, shaped filters are considered considered, and the block length is fixed to one thousand. Uh, this figure shows the ratio of outage capacity to the capacity of Nyquist signaling in AWG in channel. And, and sub figure A is obtained by, um, by ideal power location, and B is obtained by truncated power location. Um, that is uh, N subscribe A less than N for some small tau. Um, since uh, since extremely large and inaccurate power may be allocated in, uh, for some symbols in practice, the gain in subfigure A uh, is, not able, is not able to obtain, especially for small tau. Uh, for figure, for subfigure B, the ratio increases as tau decreases, but the improvement is small for tau less than uh, less than 0 0.7. Uh, the BR of LDL PA uh, FTN and or LDL uh, TPA FTN is close to the theoretical BR in, in fading channel, which implies the uh, incurred, uh, incurred ISI by FTN is well handled. These two figures illustrate the achievable rate of, of the proposed schemes when different shaped filter is adopted. In some figure A, uh, the achievable rate increases ideally as tau decreases. In contrast, the improvement of, of the achievable rate for small tau is limited. And uh, this phenomenon can be explained by the PSD of the transmitter signal. As we can see, for the normal for the for the, for the normal low, low order RC filter, the PSD has a severe side lob for tau uh, less less than 0.7, which means the corresponding achievable rate in in last uh, subfigure A is invalid. In contrast, the higher order window RC filter has sufficiently low side lob. So for the case of sub, sub figure A, a larger, a larger threshold, a larger threshold should be considered to avoid severe side lobe for small top. And uh, a trade-off should be made between the side lobe suppression of the, the PSD and uh, achievable rate. Since, uh, uh, since the average information rate and outage capacity depends on the value of n subscribe, subscribe a over n tau, it can reflect the per performance gain of pre-coded FTN over, over Nyquist signaling. Mm. Mm. As we can see, the performance gain uh, of LDL TPA FTN depends on how small theta is. Mm, however, when extremely small threshold is adopted, the allocation, the allocated power may be inaccurate due, due to the limit of the precision of the decomposition. Therefore, uh, the precision of the uh, decomposition of G uh, should be considered carefully for LDL TPA FTN for small tau. Um, in summary, uh, our in summary, we proposed an LDL pre-coded FTN scheme which has lower complexity than the than the SVD based one and uh, the same application range of tau as the SVD based one. Uh, the threshold, is, however, the threshold selection needs to is maybe troublesome in practice and needs to be improved. Mm. 
by considering the ratio of non-zero and asymptotically zero aging values of G. In our new in our newest research, we have we have um, fixed it. N subscribe subscribe a equals to n um, n um, by one plus alpha by tau. Besides, uh, the proposed schemes uh, need further evaluation. For example, uh, the peak peak to average power ratio is a, um, is a universal problem for the pre-coded FTN schemes. The interblock uh, interference is also should be considered and compared with other schemes. And the proposed scheme can utilize the higher order modulation to further improve the SE. And that's, that is my presentation. Thank you.